My guest is a Philly rapper with a national sound. He has had a strong start with his career with several viral tracks and a coveted feature in the 2023 Double XL freshman class. Please welcome to Fresh Out Live, Too Rare. Yeah. What's up, brother? Too Rare, everybody. You feeling the love in New York? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm Dude. glad to be here. Congratulations. We'll talk all about Truth or Rare, of course. Uh, and before I even get to what's ever on here, I just got to give you props, bro, because you are such a rare original, no pun intended, but mm -hmm. you are just an original in this game where a lot of people do ride waves, right? They yeah. follow trends. You set the trends. Yeah. And I just got to give it up to Too Rare right there, off top, guys. Appreciate that, bro. Because it's cool. like. Like, you know, like Hit Boy, you know, uh, was just talking recently about how, you know, they're, they're sampling and then there's just taking the total idea of a song, you know, from right. one song. And what I really respect about what you do is you, you do sample sometimes, but whether it's One Republic or whether it's Salt and Pepper, you totally make it your own, right? Yeah. Why is that so important to you? I ain't gonna lie, just like, you know, like coming up for real, for real, listening to the oldies, my mom playing some of the old music. So like, that's where I get all my inspiration from. And I know what my age gonna react to, you know? Yeah. So that's why I did like the Mario, Let Me Love You remix. Yeah. You know, stuff like that, so, yeah. Absolutely. Have you always been like that? I mean, like, you know, football, of course, your first passion, right? Mm -hmm. Were you always sort of a leader? Like, you know, just uh, not, not trying yeah. to follow anybody, do your own thing? Oh uh, yeah, I always been a leader, bro. Never a follower. Like, yeah. I don't smoke weed enough. All my homies do all that type stuff. I don't do nothing, you feel me? Like, right. Feel me? Right I'm cool. And I think uh, that's probably what makes you so unique is also what makes these huge artists gravitate towards you. I yeah. mean, Drake invited you up for the Sticky video, which is crazy. Of course, uh, Lil Durk and you go back. Yeah. What do you think it is though about, like in your experiences with these artists, what is it about you that they really gravitate towards? You know, just like the new wave itself. So like, they not used to seeing somebody come in the game like me. So I guess like, when they see me, it's like, oh, I got, you feel me? I gotta see what he bought. I gotta see what this like, you know? Yeah. So that's why I feel like they even did a club beat and they even invited me out and they be hitting me up. So yeah, it's was, it was love though, for sure. Absolutely. You can uh, see yeah. on the monitor, we're showing a clip of you in the sticky video there. What was that whole experience <laughs> like? Was that, that had to be pretty crazy. It was lit. Yeah. It was lit. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Drake had flew me and my gang out, you know? We just did our big one for real, for real. Like, but he kind of like really like gave us our flowers at the same time by inviting us out, you feel me? Showing us a good time, make sure we was cool the whole time there in Miami. So like, yeah. Definitely, man. I mean, I feel like just even recently you've been having all these experiences, whether it's the sticky video or mm -hmm. um, I know your trip to Ghana was like life changing Crazy. for you. Crazy. How is all of these experiences, whether it's travel or whether it's meeting somebody like Drake, how has it informed you as a person, as an artist? It just, it kind of keep me going because like I see like a different side of the world, you know. When you like in like a little city like Philly, you don't get a chance to see like what's going on, you know? But once you take that step out and you take trips and you experience a lot of things, like it's like, no, bro, I can't go back. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. You get, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, no, absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. And I gotta ask for the two rare fans watching MTV right now. Of course, Truth or Rare is out now. We'll talk about that in just a second. But I know when you went to Ghana, what they did with Afrobeats and, and how they use Afrobeats compared to maybe what we do in the States, yeah. it really opened your eyes, kind of inspired oh, you some new mind. sounds, right? Oh, yeah, toxic you, could we, <laughs> Could we be getting maybe some more of that flavor from you in the future? Uh, yeah, That's I want to awesome. do a lot of big things with that stuff. With Burner Boy, you know? Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Vito, for sure, Tim's. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to get that. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, that crowd. You see it on your screens at home right there. Truth or Rare, the project's out now. First of all, congratulations. A round of applause on Truth or Rare. I appreciate that. First full-length project. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting. Of course, yeah. you hit it out of the park right with this one. Uh, tell us about the project and what it means to you. For one, you feel me? It just, it's my first body of work ever. So I've been winning off the singles my whole career. So like, me putting on my first project, it's big for me, for real, for like, big, big, like, because I'm so used to promoting one song every two months or a month, you know? Now I gotta promote 12 to 14 songs. It's like, damn, I gotta lock in, you feel me? Oh, so yeah. It, it's not easy, you know? So it, it's, it's crazy though, but it's just like, I'm taking a step forward, you feel me? So it's like, all right, it's time now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You, I mean, we were chopping up about football back, uh, in the back. And <laughs> you, ever, you ever feel like your sports background though and that competitive nature that just instilled in you, you think it like helps you? when it comes to, you know, a big my, game or a big rollout? Energy and all that, like, even when I'm in the studio, I look at that like how when I was at football practice. When I'm performing, I'm looking at it like the games, you feel me? Like, even like, far as like doing the double XL freshman stuff, it kind of like made me feel like, 
all right, this is how it is. You feel me? Like on some college stuff. I'm away from my family. Pulling on, I gotta come back home. I got, you know? Yeah. Like I feel like I ain't make it all the way to the league yet. You feel me? So yeah. once you, you know what I mean, you get to the league, it's like the A list. You feel yeah. me? A list celebrity status, real for real. So, Definitely. Yeah. And you killed the cipher. If you haven't seen it, the 2023 <laughs> cipher. I mean, I look forward to that every year. Killed yeah, I appreciate it, bro. that. We made history with that too, y'all. Sure. Well, you're obviously representing for Philly, and we're so excited here at MTV uh, to see where you take it next. But we're fortunately out of time. Too rare. Thank you so much. Appreciate Too rare is out now. You gotta check it out. And thank you so much for tuning in to Fresh Out Live. I'm your host, Kevin Kenny. He is, of course, Too Rare, giving us the dance moves on MTV.